Hi everybody. I have a friend, I have a lot of friends, and even some family members um, that are transgender, gay, um, or, you know, anything in between. And um, I want to share with you today how you can pray and how you can, uh, how you take somebody who is a family member, how you go to court for them to be set free from sexual, uh, homosexuality, um, bisexual, transgender, or whatever. Uh, so I, I want to share about that because this is like, this is like a major issue in the world today. I never in my life, in my wildest dreams, ever thought that it would come to this. I never, ever thought that two people of the same sex could get married, married, and even more than that, I never thought that somebody could change their sex, and that the world would receive it as okay or normal. So, I was like, wow, how did this happen? But, it has happened, and it is a mess, and we have to deal with it. First of all, I want to remind you, if you have a child that's gay, trans and tra transgender, or whatever, that you love that child unconditionally, okay? Do not throw it up in your child, um, um, what they're doing wrong. Uh, they know, believe me, they know. I've read enough testimonies of people who have been transgender or who were gay, and when they came out of it, that they knew the whole time that it was wrong. So, sinners know that they're sinning. They know they're wrong, so please, do not throw it up in their face. The number one thing to get somebody set free and have everything that God created them to have is not to throw it in their face. Do not throw it in their face, okay? Love them unconditionally. They're your child or family member. Love them unconditionally, okay? Now, here is the hardest thing that I have with dealing with transgender. A woman speaks to a woman a different way than a woman speaks to a man. So my biggest problem is the body language, the tone of voice, and what we talk about. When you talk to a male, they are very factual. When you talk to a female, they deal on things on an emotional level. So when I'm talking to a female, I'm talking about, wow, this was really a fun day. It was awesome. The clouds were so beautiful. I mean, did you see that over there? When I talk to a guy, it would be like, man, what a great day. Uh, the wind was, you know, coming from the northwest. It was giving the clouds a, a great appearance. Uh, they were very, really dark blue, and they, they looked really cool. So you kind of speak to a guy with facts, and you speak to a woman with facts, uh, with more emotional. And you don't want to perceive, be perceived as um, flirt, flirtatious or uh, insinuating anything or coming on to them. So that's my biggest problem is I'm not sure what direction to go in our conversation and I try to keep it as natural as possible. <clears throat> and that's an issue that I deal with. But I'm, I'm not judgmental and critical uh, to them because it's just like any other person. They're in deception. They are being stolen from. If you can look at it from this point of view, it will change everything. Look at it from the point of view is that the devil is stealing from them, killing them, and destroying them. And you are their only weapon. You have the power to change their destiny to be everything God created them to be. Now, how do you deal with this situation? First of all, what is the cause of homosexuality? As far as I know, there's three main causes. Number one, oftentimes they say that people who go and get into homosexuality have been sexually abused in some time in their life, usually as young children or maybe as even babies. Number two, there's a generational curse passed down. People who think that they are born or people who are very young and are attracted to the same sex. I used to think nobody can be born gay, but yes, they can because they have a generational curse, a history in their generational lines that causes that curse of homosexuality to pass down 
be passed down from generation to generation. So they can be born with those tendencies. And it is a court battle, a, a spiritual court battle to get them out of that. Okay, so, and then the third way that I know about that uh, creates homosexuality feelings, attitudes, beliefs, is oftentimes in research that they said that they researched homosexuals and said, why are you a homosexual? And they did research. They say that most often a child that is homosexual has disconnected from its parent of the same sex because they perceive, now I'm not saying it's the truth, but they perceive a broken relationship. They perceive um, whether it's reality or not. They perceive something about that same sex parent that they are not connecting to or relating to and they disconnect it and then they go and they look for a replacement by by being attracted to the same sex and they're basically you've all you've heard the saying that men marry their mother someone who's like their mother and uh, women marry somebody that's like their father and that's pretty much basically true unless their father's an alcoholic and they try not to on purpose marry somebody like that but so those are the three main reasons that all three of those reasons can be taken to court uh, to the courts of heaven and all three of those reasons uh, you can come against I'm gonna sneeze here so I gotta get a tissue uh. <coughs> sorry okay so once you know the cause you know how to come against it. okay there are several ways that you can deal with this first of all I surely hope I have a tissue here somewhere because my nose is itching. <laughs> um, first of all, you can deal with this by going to the courts of heaven and finding out, doing some research, finding out and asking the Holy Spirit or doing natural research, what is the history of my family? Have there been a history of homosexuality? Have there been a history? And so on. Oh, there is actually a fourth, fourth way that somebody could become uh, homosexual especially at a young age and that's through trauma um, whenever we go through any kind of trauma or operation or anything where we're put to sleep or a trauma like a death in the family or a divorce or witnessing a murder all of those things open up doors for the demonic realm to attach itself to you and pass curses on uh, so be aware of any history that your child or this person has of trauma in their life and go into the courts of heaven and repent for them in their place in the courts of heaven for that that trauma and command that spirit of trauma to go okay even even a young baby um, when when I was being trained to do deliverance ministry even a newborn baby had like for example let me say me my mom fell down the steps when she was pregnant with me and it caused it, it birthed in me a fear that I'm still overcoming in certain areas but it allowed a spirit of fear to come into me as a newborn baby because that fear of falling down the cellar steps when I was a baby inside of her has transferred over to me and so through trauma um, things like that can happen so 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 be very careful and and then uh, I am reminded also that um, somebody who is both male and female uh, because they were probably twins that merged together to become one uh, or a generational curse passed down is also another way uh, that a, somebody can be born either both sexes or um, become gay or lesbian whatever or transgender um, but the number one thing to think about in all of this is that person, their destiny and identity has been stolen from them. If you look at the very essence of who we are as human beings, when we are born, we, we are born with one of two identities. We are either a male or a female. Nothing can change that. Um, medical science, uh, uh, if you're born with both because you're twins merged together, whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being born your whole identity is you are a male or a female we're not a male a female or an animal or a worm we are a male and a female so the very core and the very essence has been stolen 
from that person and from there comes all kinds of confusion can you imagine if you if you are supposed to be attracted to one sex and you're attracted to the other sex at a very young age you shouldn't even be attracted to any sex because you're young and right there that's a clue that there's a spirit behind it if you find that your child or relative whatever as a very young two and three year old was attracted to the opposite uh, the same sex that's a clue that it's a spiritual thing right there should should clue you off right away okay so the very core the very essence of who a human being is male or female um, steals their identity and all kinds of confusions happen because of that so number one issue that you want to deal with with these people is identity you want to go to the courts of heaven you want to pray father um, if you're just praying not going to the courts of heaven you want to pray father um, I, I, I release their identity and their destiny that they would re that you would reveal to them who they are who you created them to be the very core and essence of who they are in you show them their destiny show them how they are wonderfully and powerfully created and you have a purpose for them show them who they are male and female and and, and just and, and you just you just speak that you just decree that just declare that you go to the courts of heaven and um, if you're the parent you repent of of any issues uh, that that child thinks that you did or didn't do whether it's the truth or not you repent you always agree with whatever the accuser is accusing you of and repent because it, this is not the battle it's a legal battle okay whether it's true or not you repent of it in the court of heaven and um, there's lots of books out there of the protocol of how to go to the court of heaven and so on and I'm assuming you already know that you get my book some other books mine's real simple um, keep it simple that a child can understand it okay so you want to deal with those issues of their core identity uh, their parents and repenting for those things uh, repenting for yourself and so on and then and, and that and declare a decree that they will discover their destiny they will know who they are if they're a, a, originally a female that they will uh, be beautiful and they will be feminine and they will be everything that God created a female to be in that she will find the perfect health mate help help mate at this right time and so on and so on and same thing with the male now the other thing um, so you want to deal with any issues of trauma if it's your own child any issues of neglect any issues of blaming and, and, and fighting and, and all that stuff just deal with them just repent of them ask the Holy Spirit to lead you how to how to love them and, and, and talk toward them and so on and, and then the other thing is listen to them what is that child or person saying to you what people always give you clues what clues are they giving to you for example your tryout child that has already become transgender or is transgender might say I feel like a man you know born a female I feel like a man I feel so tough and masculine and I just want to beat up anybody so okay so she's giving you clues well father I thank you that my daughter who, who you created and destined to be a woman who now thinks she is man that she does not feel like a man that she does not feel strong and, and, and have tendency to want to beat up people but she feels uh, feminine and, and, and name qualities of a, a femininity and how a woman should uh, act and so on and how a, a God create according to God's standards not man because this changes from um, culture to culture so um, just speak the word of God and and proclaim that destiny so so the things that you can deal with in the course of heaven is um, any trauma issues the child had as, as a child deal with any um, issues that the child or the person has with their parents of the same sex repent for that if you happen to be that parent um, deal with any issues of identity crisis anything passed down that could have been passed down through the generations deal with any generational curses any familiar spirits in the courts of heaven uh, begin to take authority over those things the courts of heaven is really important but you can do all the repenting and the research first and then you can go to the courts of heaven and ask the Holy Spirit what else the accuser is accusing you of that is keeping this person in bondage you can repent for them the things that they've done if they have a history of crime a history of uh, bullying a history of being bullied those are all things that spirits 
attached to or signals that there's a spirit attached to that person that you need to deal with. So I hope that this has helped you um, deal with that. And um, if you have any questions, make sure you mention my name, my full, you know, Robin Bremer, because I won't see your comments because this gets passed around to thousands of people and I lose track of comments. So, um, you know, make sure you mention my name if you have a question. Uh, make sure you share this with your social media sites and your friends, especially people who are dealing with these issues. Um, a lot of people who are transgender or gay or homosexual, they don't want to hear the truth. Um, they will get argument, argumentative and angry and so on. You don't want to push them into a corner. You don't want to blast them with the word of God. You want to blast them with the love of God. You, you want to love them. So go to the courts of heaven. Um, speak truth to them, but do it in love. That's so important. Go to the courts of heaven. Um, you know, bind those spirits and um, just set them free. So share this with social media sites and with your friends. And if you're an author, I publish books for $300. A little commercial on the end here. If you're an author, I publish your book for $300 in 30 days. It'll be in your hands as a print book sold on Amazon and sold as a Kindle book. So check out my website, robinbremer.net and uh, find out more information about that. Have a blessed day and I pray that you would be able to um, do all this work yourself that you would learn and grow. And if you check out my website, I mean, if you check out my Facebook uh, group, Angels, Supernatural, courts of heaven and something else um i posted some a list of people who teach about going to the courts of heaven and uh go and join that site and get get that list i'll be posting uh notes on there that you can take and copy uh, that will help you in the courts of heaven and people's sites and books that you can go to so check that out and uh, hopefully that'll help you set you free because my job isn't to do it for you my job is to show you how to do it yourself so you can show somebody else so you can set them free because our job is the ministry of reconciliation god wants everything reconciled back to the original intent heaven on earth for you and your family and if it's not heaven on earth it's because satan has an accusation against you and is withholding it from you. So go to the courts of heaven and get what the blood of Jesus paid for you to have. Get the harvest of the blood of Jesus. And I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.